So, I've been having some issues again, and it's not pertaining to, you know, CPU or anything like that. It's really just NVIDIA, to be honest. I, I don't know what's going on. It, it, this, this has been happening since September of last year. September, October has been happening. I have not been able to successfully record an actual one hour gameplay footage with NVIDIA Shadowplay and not have the audio break. It breaks constantly all of the time and I don't know what to do. I uninstalled the drivers. I freaking went to beta. I used the sulfur cleaner thingy and uninstalled everything from it. Everything got removed and scratched off the registry keys and all that it's registry keys. Okay, yes, registry keys, then all the registry associations and everything in the registry, clean off the computer, gone. Reinstalled it, I have the same issue. I don't know how to fix it. I have no idea what to do at this point, except for one more thing I should do, which would be uh, starting up the computer without loading the background programs. And that's something I guess that's, that's my last resort, because I'm actually planning on going back to Windows 7. Just because to see if, if, if it's going to solve the issue, it might be. It could be a program on the computer, but then it's not going to start up, so that should kind of alleviate that kind of thing. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know why it's even happening. Even on the latest beta version of the drivers and on even GeForce Experience, it's the same thing. 22 minutes and 20 minutes to 54, 55, whatever minutes around there, the audio cuts out. I don't really know what to do. I want to start back making my gameplay videos, man. I want to start making games in my, my gaming channel. And it's like, I can't do it because it won't let me do it. And it's just NVIDIA. And it used to work fine, you know, but now it just it broke. I don't know what happened. It just freaking broke and stopped working. So I don't know if you guys know anything, maybe. So I've, I've, I've seen some people in the forums, you know, they've, they've talked about it. I even uh, uh, tried pulling on my audio card and actually had the audio go through to my monitor thrace thrace to my monitor basically natively through the graphics card hdmi cable and i'm still getting the same issues it's not it's not capturing it's not the car's fault obviously so i i don't know what else to really do at this point i don't really know speaking of windows those of you who are windows 7 right now you don't want to get off of it i mean you're gonna have to man gonna happen it's gonna get old and wrinkled and old so windows 10 is going to be free for windows 8.1 users and windows 7 users you're wondering how you're gonna get DirectX 12 right well that is how they're not going to support windows i mean if, if they if they actually did that they were able to do that they're able to do that. But if they did that, then more people are gonna stay back on the operating system, which is support probably ends sometime soon, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, this this is this is gonna be it. This is gonna be the way for you guys to do it. So if you have a legitimate copy, I'm looking at you. If you have a legitimate copy of Windows 7 and Windows 8.1, you're gonna get Windows 10 for free. Free upgrade. So that's lovely. Dark X12, beautiful. I don't need that. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about, okay? Because if you knew, you you would be excited to go to Windows 10, all right? Not just Dark X, X12, but I mean, I don't, I don't really see anything else wrong with Windows 8.1, and I'm using it right now, you know? But, um, so, uh, besides, uh, I don't know if it's actually causing me to not be able to record over 22 minutes and got the audio cut off from Shadowplay. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But either way, Windows 10 is going to be an improvement. So... You're gonna have DAC X12. You don't know what that is. It's gonna be a, a, it's gonna be a lower level access of of the APIs and stuff. It's like AMD Mantle. It's like AMD Mantle, definitely. So you can get uh, as you as you've seen in some games um, shown by some YouTubers uh, that you can get anywhere between 10, 20 plus frames per second increase over dark x11 so yeah man yeah I, 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 w I would i would definitely do the switch you know i'm just you know i'm just saying i would definitely do the switch so that's that's a good enough reason for me to actually jump over to windows 10 i've, I've been excited about dark x12 for a very very long time i hope daisy get it it'll really benefit a lot of games you know low level access and more draw calls 
being able to um, draw everything in the world and, you know, stuff that happened in the software, because I don't do software stuff. And, you know, being able, you'll be able to get good frames. So I'm, I'm praying, I'm praying that Daisy get this and a couple other games get this. I wish Grand Theft Auto 5 could have gotten this, maybe. That'd have been nice. Rockstar. You can still put it in. It's not too late. You can still put it in. I'm just saying. You can't. But yeah, you know, a lot of, uh, definitely Daisy is number one on my list. I want Daisy to have this. I can have a smooth over 60 frames per second, 60 plus FPS experience on high detail, very high detail, ultra, whatever, it doesn't, whatever. Uh, so yeah, big help. And it'll be a huge help with MMOs. Um, you know, having multiple characters in the screen, you'll be able to draw that properly and everything and everything within the thing and it's awesome that's all you need to know it's awesome that's it so guys leave a comment below and uh yeah you know you got any questions or anything you want to ask me go ahead and leave it below and i'll talk to you guys later